Hi all, Anjali this side. So we just did how to insert a record in the MySQL table with the help of JDBC in the last lecture. So today we are going to do how to fetch the data from the MySQL table. So we already have data in the table and I want to fetch it and show it on the NetBeam screen. So the first three steps are still the same. We'll be setting up the driver, we'll create the connection and then we'll create a statement. But after that, we will be needing one more class over here called Result Set, in which we are going to get the data, which will be fetched with the help of st.execute query command. So like we had event table last time, I have designed the screen where user is going to enter the event ID here. When user clicks on Show, the details of that particular event will be shown in the text area below that. So if I show you how does it execute, when I go to Run File, It will run this page. I'll be entering an event ID and it will show me the details of that. In case the event ID is not there in the table, it will give you a message that the record is not on or something like that. For example, I try 65 and that there is no event with that ID. So no event found with given ID. Okay. Last time we created 790. So let's check out that only. Then I write show. Okay. When I click on show, I get the details of the event last time. So that is how we get the data from the table which is there in MySQL. So this is how we retrieve the data. But now what should be the code for this? The code for this should be first you have to set the connection. For that we are writing class.forName. So we write class.forName to set the connection. Sorry to set the driver. Then we write the connection line to establish the connection with the events database. Then we have created the statement. But this time the query which we need to execute is the select command. So for that I have to form the select command. Now the select command should be like if normally if I tell you that write the SQL query to show the details of event ID 790. How would you write it? Select star from event where event ID is equal to 790. But this time the 790 is not fixed. This is going to come from the first text field. So we have taken the value from t1.getText in the variable id and we concatenate it over here. So the query becomes select star from event where event id is equal to value whatever was there in the text field 1. So if text field 1 was 60, the query will become select star from event where event id is equal to 60. If the id is 790, the query becomes select star from event where event id is equal to 790. We don't have quotes around it because this is an integer value. Now, finally, to execute this, we have st.execute query command. Unlike execute update, it returns the data back. And that data, which is returned by the execute query command, has to be taken in another object of class result set. In result set, there is no space and R and S are capital. This class is again defined in your SQL package. Object name I have given as RS, you can give whatever you want. So whatever is fetched by executing this query comes in this result set. So result set is like basically a dummy table in which we get the data. Now from this table, we need to retrieve it. Before retrieving, I must check whether there is some data or not. So for that, there are various functions. One of that is RS.next. Basically with the result set, we have four major functions to move the cursor in the record set. That is rs.first, rs.next, rs.last, rs.previous. And the meaning is very much clear by the name. So rs.first means we have to move to the first record in the result fetched. rs.last means you have to move to the last record. Same way rs.next and previous. So it performs two tasks. One, it moves to that particular location. Second, it gives true or false as a result. So if that location exists, it will give you true. But if there is no record at that location, it will give me false. So I'm checking here whether there is a next record or not. So rs.next, when it is executed, it moves to the first record because it's been executed for the first time. If there is a record, it will give you true and whatever code we have written in if will be executed. But if this gives me false, then if we'll ignore this code and we'll directly go to the else part. So let's say the record is not found. If it's not found, we'll go to the else part and we'll show a message. No event found. 
with given id but if it is found if it is found i need to fetch the values of different attributes and i need to show them in the text area how do we do that so for that we have defined functions like i've used get string here because all the values we are fetching are of type varchar other than get string i have functions as get int get uh, date and all depending upon the different data types but get string works with all type of data you want to fetch so in variable n i want that from the table value of the column e name should come so these fields which i have given in double quotes over here are actually the column names which are there in the mysql table so in mysql table that is over here e name is fetched in n same way organizer t date status and duration so we fetch all these attributes in respective java variables and from there i have to put them in the text area to put in the text area i have written this line ta1 dot set text n plus backslash n is to take the text to the next line so to show the value of n that is the name of the event then takes the cursor on the next line then show the organization name then again on the next line it shows the date and on the next line it shows me the status and on the next line it shows the duration so that's how it shows the details in the text area which i required so this is how we fetch the data from a table so this was to fetch a single record and for that the details could be shown in a text area so we have displayed it like this the only thing is that you need a result set over here when you need to show this is we are fetching one record but usually i might need to show the whole table on the java screen to show the whole table on the java screen i need an interface somewhat like this so this is where i click on show it will show the details in this table now from where i have made this table in the swing controls there is an option called table so you have to take a table and drop it over here by default the name is j table 1 right click on the table and go to properties option you will get this box and over here there is an option called model go to this model option and we get this so you have to change the column number by default four columns come here you can click on the plus sign to increase the columns like i have made six and i don't need any row initially so i have made rows as zero then you can write the title of the columns initially it was title 1 title 2 title 3 i have changed it as per my requirement so it's id title organizer date status and duration after doing these changes over here you will click on okay and close from here so this design is complete now comes the code part so click on show the first half of the code is same i have class dot for name then connection then statement then strings and we are using this special line over here default table model this object is required to add the data in the table so for the time being you just have to write the line like this only so default table model is a predefined class the object name is df you can give whatever you want this here i have written for the type casting purpose j table 1 dot get model so the current model of the table will be fetched in the object named df then my query over here is select star from event i execute this query results it rs is equal to st dot execute query it executes and it comes in rs now there can be more than one record so instead of having if this time i have given while so while will keep repeating the code till we are getting more records so first it moves to the first record fetches the data again rs dot next works so it goes to the second record then third fourth and so on what we are doing inside this loop is we are fetching the values same way id is equal to rs dot get string event id then name then organizer and everything but now you don't have to add it into a text area rather i'll take in string array so string b square bracket shows it's an array is equal to in curly brackets you have to give all the column names in the same order as you want to show in the table so in the order as you have mentioned in the table we have to give in the same order over here then with the help of this function df dot add row and we'll pass this d over here so this will be added in the default table model which is eventually added on the table on the screen so the loop will keep on working again and again till it is getting more records every time a new record is fetched and it is added to the table 
on the screen. So if I run this and I click on show, I'll be getting all three because we have three events right now in the table. I'll be getting all three records, even if it would have been 30 or 300. We'll get all records with the same code. You don't have to write extra code for that. So it will show all of those as many records we have in the table. So I clicked it twice, so it has come twice. Otherwise, it would, would have shown three records over here. You don't want that clicking again should show it twice. For that, we need to add one more line before we actually add this. So that would be df, that is default table model, dot set row count. So initially I want whenever the data is fetched, the initial row count should be zero. So that even if you click twice or thrice by mistake, it will show you the records once, it won't be repeated. So that is how we fetch the data from the SQL table, get it in NetBeans, and then it's up to us how we want to show it or we want to use it. So we keep clicking again, but it will show it once because we did this set count thing over here. I hope this video was useful to understand how to fetch the data from MySQL and bring it in the NetBeans screen. In case of any doubts, do write in the comment section. Thank you.